Hey everyone, I know it has been a while since my last YouTube video update. I have been quite busy um, here at home in my personal life as well, um, but um, nevertheless I'm back. Okay, so what I want to talk about in this YouTube video update is the most recent um, USA American election. Now, um, as you guys know by now, um, Donald Trump has become the next American president, and Hillary Clinton got, you know, out of the way. So I want to shed some light on this, because um, their campaigns, both Hillary and Trump's, very, very interesting, to say the least. Um, now I'm going to put it out here, hate me or love me because of it, but um, I stand with Hillary Clinton, hence uh, the hashtag I'm with her. So that's who I stand for. Um, I could, I can't stand Donald Trump. Like he's, Donald Trump is a fucking moron. There, I have said it for the life of everyone. Donald Trump, he is a fucking moron. Okay, he's racist. He's a bigot. He's a homophobic trash talker. He is close friends with Vladimir Putin, Prime Minister of Russia. His VP Pence has officially confirmed that. Trump will be an anti-LGBTQ2S plus president. He wants to get rid of Obamacare, leave millions of people without health insurance. Um, he wants to undermine what Obama has done for equal um, equal rights. Um, he wants to build a fucking wall around the uh, United States to keep um, what he calls um, illegal immigrants out. Um, and the list can go on and on and on and on and on. Now, I get it. I get it. Some people don't like Hillary Clinton. I get it. I totally do. But you know what? Before I continue, I just want to let you know that yes, there are there is good and bad sides with these um, with these candidates, right? There's there's a good side to them. There's bad side to them. There's good qualities, nasty qualities, whatever, right? We get that. We really do. But the true colors have shown. Now Donald Trump has shown. Um, we, being very cruel to women, being very cruel to um, other cultures and other um, sexual identities and orientations. And it's just, he's very nasty towards a lot of people from, like, why? why what, what kicked he get out of being a nasty, bigot, hypocrite? And for the fact that he hasn't paid taxes to the IRS in over 20 years, makes me laugh for him to talk about the American tax system. <laughs> oh honey, you haven't paid fucking a penny to the IRS in 20 fucking years. If it weren't for your lawyers, you'd be in jail right now. Fucking moron. Ugh, fucking moron. So anyways, back to what I was going on to. So this election, now hear me out. Okay folks, just hear me out for a moment. I'm just get properly situated in this chair. Okay, there we go. Hear me out. This is not, this election is not about third party candidates, okay? Or lack of votes. This has nothing to do with politics whatsoever. This is, all, I'm trying to keep my emotions down right now at this point. This is all about what the United States of America has been about since its creation, okay? Racism and power. Mm, right. Control. These fucking people know damn well, well, sorry, that Donald Trump is not even close to be fucking qualified to run the United States of America, but they support his racist, sexist, homophobic beliefs. So they will stand behind him no matter what. You wanna know why? Because a lot there's a good number of people in the United States who don't have an education worth a fucking darn. Donald Trump being one of them. During one of Trump's interviews, uh, I think it was like a month or two ago, he was admitting that he doesn't even know his own country's um course of history. But <laughs> says that the United States should never have given Canada its freedom, but doesn't know enough about his own country's history. That's a fucking shame. Wow. 
That should have been the clue right there. He's a, he's a fucking retard. But that's just me talking. Okay. Like, it's just... It's fucking ridiculous. Like, wow. We all know what he's gonna do. People well know what he's gonna do. But he's still gonna. We know he's going to strip away the LGBTQ 2S plus, etc, etc, rights of everybody in that with it, who identifies. We got him well know he's gonna deport innocent people for no reason. We know that he is going to put America in more debt than it already is in right now. We all know that him and Pence, his fucking vice president, is friends with Vladimir Putin, Russia's prime minister, who's one of the most evil, vile people in the world. We know this. We know what's going to happen. But for some reason, he won. You know what? And get this, there's a good chunk of people that he's targeting and attacking. A good chunk of those communities and people he's attacking that voted for him. <laughs> Way to go. Now, let's, now here, hang on. If you voted for Mr. Sorry, if you voted for Mr. Donald Trump yesterday and the day before that, and throughout this whole election campaign bullshit, make sure that you explain to your LGBTQ 2S plus, et cetera, et cetera, female, black, Latino, Muslim friends, why they don't matter to you. Be fucking sure goddamn well, girl or guy, that you fucking turn around and you explain to those people why they don't matter to you. Because that's what basically you just show that you don't give a rat's ass about their safety, their equality, or their rights. I hope you have a good candlelight dinner tonight, sitting them down over a nice hot cup of pajuda and to explain why the fuck they don't matter to you. Way to go. Knowing damn well what he's going to do to those people. What he's going to do to your country. God. Now, another thing about Donald Trump. Do Donald Trump has said pregnancy is an inconvenient for businesses. It's very... He said, oh, it's very inconvenient for businesses for a woman to get pregnant. Maternity leaves. La 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 la. It's not like... Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me rephrase this. Forget this. His mother's pregnancy. Hang on, let me rephrase this. Right. Donald Trump said pregnancy is very inconvenient for businesses. Like his mother's pregnancy hasn't been inconvenient for the whole fucking world. That's what I have to say about him saying, Oh, a woman getting pregnant is an inconvenient for businesses. So is maternity leaves. So is fucking giving birth. Wah, 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 wah. That's what I say to fucking that, man. When your mother was pregnant with you, holy fuck, as soon as you crawled out of that fucking out of that vodka bottle, Mr. Trump, the inconvenience for the whole world automatically started as soon as you opened your fucking mouth. Not before your father handed you a one million dollar fucking check to start your fucking business back in 1971. No, sir. No, 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 no. You have been an inconvenience for the fucking world since the minute you fucking crawled out of that fucking crooch of your mother's. But don't you dare fucking say that giving birth and making children to populate this world for which no children, we go extinct. It's an inconvenient for businesses. You're inconvenient for businesses. Fuck, you don't pay your employees properly. You've been bankrupt. Should I go on about businesses? Oh, wait, you haven't paid taxes to the IRS for 20, over 20 fucking years. Guess what? You're an inconvenience to them. And you're, um, 
The reason you're not in jail is because your lawyers are fucking retarded, and obviously they know how to fucking keep criminals and, um, you know, people like you, rapists, on, on the fucking streets. Bring it up to me. I, I would have fucking locked your ass up. Got your... Hey, hang on. If it was for me, let me rephrase this. If it was for me, I would have got you a rank, and I would have gotten you fucking convicted and tried and locked up for your crimes. Like, come on, people. He's raped women. Publicly, on, t on television and other kind of media outlets, he has degraded women and other people of different backgrounds and cultures and uh, identities and orientations. He has degraded pregnant women. This is who you want for president. I Thank God our Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, d does not like Donald Trump. They will not have the same bromance that he had with Obama. Oh, no, no, no. He's fucking already despises us him. Fuck. Ugh. Now get this. In today's world, you know, you need to work in today's world. Bottom line. Okay? Social assistance is going to go so far. We all know this, right? You need to work and have a job full time in order to keep up with this world, with the world's demands and economy. Whether it's real estate, um, living on your own, buying a house, paying for your own bills, trying to live a life. You need to fucking work to provide for yourself, right? You need a job. That's just the way it is in life. You need to go to work. You need to pay bills. And hopefully at some point you get to have a fucking vacation before you fucking die. But you need to pay taxes. You need to do a lot of fucking shit to survive. And the main source to help you survive in today's world is having a job, okay? But in order to have a job, a proper paying fucking job, not a job on minimum wage, like a fucking proper paying job, like the living wage in Ontario is $14.95 an hour. That's the living wage of uh, for Ontario, not the minimum wage, the living wage. But in order to be accepted and work and get paid under a living wage, Hey, is that you need to go to school. Not You need to not only finish high school, but you need to go to a post-secondary institution, whether it's college, university, a trade, apprenticeship. You need to do some post-secondary, honey, to get an, at least an entry-level job, which is also known as living wage. Okay? But in the fucking states, though, holy, Mr. Donald Trump can run for president with no political experience. But yet, I need a master's degree and five fucking years experience for an entry-level living wage paying job? This guy doesn't fucking know how to keep a business alive or run a business or pay people properly. Fuck, what makes you think he's going to be the right person to run a whole goddamn nation? But, but you know what? What do I know, right? Not, what do I know? I'm not the politics. I'm not the law. What the fuck do I know, right? I'm not a businessman. What do I know? I'm just... Morons. He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's going to destroy what um, Obama has done to America. He's going to destroy a lot of people and put a lot of people in fucking traumatizing positions because it's bigger than the ass. And that's a fucking fact. But someone who's not even fucking remotely qualified to run for, to run um, a country gets to be a, a president, but yet we fucking regular people need to fucking have a master's degree, which involves a lot of student debt, and five years worth of experience on the job, which probably will come from fucking placements, just to get an entry level um, living wage paid job? That's fucking retarded. That's ridiculous. Must be no. So if you're rich, and you run a business, and you're a fucking scam artist when it comes to paying your taxes, and if you rape women and degrade women, and want to deport every nationality out of your fucking country and strip the LGBTQ people of their rights and rights and equality and all shit, then apparently doing all that can make you be fit for president, even though you don't even have the fucking balls, you don't have the fucking stamina, you don't even have the fucking knowledge to do so. That's apparently what the states is, is um, I'm saying. Oh, you can, if you're a fucking retarded bigger than uneducated piece of shit who's never paid the IRS in over 20 years, he can be our president. Not a problem. That's the message you're sending out, which is wrong. But what do I know, right? What do I know halfway already in this video? What do I know? I'm just um, a regular fucking no-jo person. Oh, what do I know, right? Yeah, whatever. But here to my fellow Canadians, 
keep calm and thank fucking God and Jesus or, what, or whatever kind of deity that you worship. Thank your deities, man, and gals, that you're a, that you're a, a Canadian. Thank the deities that you're a goddamn Canadian. That we actually have a proper prime minister, and that actually we have rights and protection and equality throughout the whole nation of ours. Thank fucking God you're Canadian. Thank fucking the deities, man. We're so lucky and blessed and privileged to be in a country that we that is called Canada and live here as Canadian citizens and be under the kind of protection that we have. Thank God we're Canadian because if we're Americans right now, we'd be screwed. Literally, we would be fucking screwed. Like, now, right now, since the um, results from the election came in, protesters across the United States uh, the, the United States nation have banded together and have are now protesting. Okay, so I don't. What is she doing? Oh, okay, so I just uh, mind my breaking stock. Now protests are erupting across the United States because of Trump being elected as president. Okay, they're burning American flags. They're marching down the streets shouting fuck Trump and using the hashtag in this in this statement Trump is not my president or something along those lines. They're protesting all across America right now because of tr against Trump. And some have actually got arrested and, and detained because of it. I have never seen that happen. Maybe it's happened since I've been alive, but I've been too young to remember, but like this is a a make like wow. Hillary Clinton she didn't get in. Trump got in and now this protest they're written across the entire United States of America. I wonder why. Wonder why, folks. <sighs> okay. After Donald Trump won the election, it erupts started happening. Okay, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump is what people are saying. Not my president, they are saying. Fuck Donald J. Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Hundreds of students stormed the streets of college campuses, okay? Blocking roads and burning effigies of the president-elect. Okay? Like, these people are, like, outrageously mad. And they're protesting in front of the White House, college campuses, businesses, streets, burning flags. It's, right now, it's a war zone in a lot of parts of the states because of Donald Trump getting elected as president. And they're not wrong in doing so. They have a right to protest. They really do. Like, it's your, within your constitution. But they're, they're protesting for a very good reason because this is not happening. One of the worst days in America was 9-11, the unfortunate terrorist attack at the World Trade Center back in September 11th of 2001. The second worst day to happen in America thus far, in my personal opi opinion, is 11 backslash 9, meaning November 11th... No, sorry. November 9th. Not, no, not November 11th. November 9th. 9-11, 11-9. Switch them around. Kind of eerie, isn't it? 9-11. Worst day in America. Like the first worst day in America. The second worst day in America. 11-9. It's kind of creepy. But I don't fucking blame them for saying that. Because it's true. This is the second worst day in America because of how Donald Trump is and how he's going to do the presidency and what he wants to do in his, in his term, in his four-year term. I don't... This is the second worst thing in America. For a lot of Americans. It really is. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this has gotten to the point where I'm just like, no. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. Just can't be. Now, I have a, a, another message for people. Okay? And I'm gonna have to get positioned um, for this. Because this is gonna be a very good message. Now, you can tell I'm riled up because of this election, right? It's not surprising. I've been f for Hillary for a long time. For some reason, she, she's been running for president for years, and for some reason, she never quite get it. Not right. Now, a sincere and hearty fuck you to the 14%, 14% of LGBTQ 2S plus voters who voted for Chancellor Von Clownstick 
aka Donald Trump. The media use the LGBTQ2S plus acronym, but I strongly suspect one of those letters, one of those letters I suspect when coupled with witnesses compromised most of those tra traitorous fucks. Okay? Also, I don't care to hear smugness from anyone today. I really don't care to hear it. Those of, you, uh, those of you who know me personally will know that I don't believe in any of these politics, okay? P politics is very, very, very difficult to follow, okay? I don't care to know what, ha what you need to do in politics. What I care, though, is what they propose to do if you get in power. Because being in power is a lot different than just being in politics. It has a lot more to it than that. So, I don't give a rat's ass about, about politics, but I do give a rat's ass about who's running the country and what they're going to do and what their campaigns have already stated as to what they're going to do and how, and what the prisoner, um, sorry, personality is as a person and how they are as a human being. That's what I care about. Not about politics. I care, okay, hang on, scratch that. I care somewhat about politics to a certain point though. But I also look at their personality, their behaviors, their track record, and there's a lot of other other different categories to look into. Not just when it comes to poli uh, when it comes to this kind of bullshit. Okay. Oh, I lighter just fell. Okay. So back to what I was saying. But this is beyond politics, people. It really is. This is a statement. To the entire world that white supremacy is okay that misnogamy is okay that rape is okay regardless of what it means okay regardless of what it <clears throat> means in the overarching narrative of, of this empire slow and painful crumbling it means today today that indigenous indigenous folks marginalized LGBTQ2S plus community individuals, people of color and women will suffer. It means that racists, homophobes, and misogynists will be emboldened, 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 emboldened. There we are, emboldened. Wow, can't speak today, right? Huh? Happy, happy one, happy hump day, folks. I can't speak. It will cost people their safety. Okay, their safety, their right, and their lives. It will. In the end, it, it will. It does not matter what Mr. Donald J. motherfucking Trump does as, as President of the United States. What he and his party, being the Republic, Republican Party, have already done is enough. Okay? Yes, some, some, some Republicans left him because of, because of how he is and what he wants to do. But not all. So I'm speaking to the Republicans that never turned their back to Trump. The ones that are still involved with him. He is the problem, but also his base is also the problem as well. And now his base has just announced to the world that they are enthusiastically supportive of the scapegoating of my like minority of scapegoating of minorities and the destruction of people's lives. They have, okay. Spare me any spare me any argument about this, okay. Save your words about how none of this matters, about how both of them of them are just as bad, etc., etc., and consider instead reaching out to the people in your life who are just punch in their throats with the very clear message that we don't matter. This is what we need from you today. Do you understand me? This what I just mentioned is what we need from you fucking today in regards to this fucking present election bullshit. Okay? This is ridiculous. There are already social media sites with people counting down the four years until he's out of office. Which I find hilarious. That, oh, people are already counting down to when he um, is done his first term. But he might get a second term. Who knows? Let's hope not. 
It was home in 2020. Michelle Obama or Hillary Clinton or some fucking person with some brains actually gets behind the White House and fix the damage that Trump is about to do. Okay. What Trump is about to do. Ugh. Some people are just fucking uneducated piece of shit when it comes to fucking American elections. People know exactly what Donald's going to do. People know exactly what his campaigns have been about. We all know that Vladimir Putin is, is involved with Donald. Sorry, uh, my the computer just malfunctioned for a minute. This is the message I have for the American people. Now, it's not a surprise that the that the um, Canada go the government of Canada's immigration website crashed during election day last night. Not surprising. It's not surprising that apparently our government of Canada has received 10 million American immigration applications from Americans. People are already wanting to flee the country. People have been stating that they're afraid for their future, that they don't feel safe, they don't feel secure. And you know what? I don't blame them. I wouldn't feel safe or secure either. I'd be worried, really worried. And, and you should be, because America is about to go to hell in a handbasket. It really is. And it's not like Trump's campaign showed his bigotry and his hatred towards everything that America now stands for after years of, of evolution and change and improvement. And now he's basically willing to turn all of that all of that upside down and kick it in the nuts. That's basically what he's going to do and what he wants to do because he doesn't agree with it. Now when he gave his victory speech, his son one of his youngest sons, the blonde a blonde kid, was standing closest to his podium. When Trump was done, Trump gave a hug and kiss to everybody else, but I didn't see him give a kiss and a hug to his younger son, which I found appalling considering his son looked like he was scared for his fucking life to even be that close to his dad. That should speak volumes, people. And sorry if I'm smoking my video, I'm just really upset. This is not what I expected. I was already, I was already having, having a crummy day at work today just to come, just to fucking see all this president election bullshit. So I'm not in the best of moods. But I will say this. The people who, who are educated and have their minds actually screwed on straight for... for <clears throat> oh my god, my boyfriend, whatever. I know that you guys are going to band together and you guys are going to stand together and unite as one to face what is coming. With your heads held high and willing to take on the battles and the bumps and bruises that's going to come along with it. And for that, I am standing beside you, facing the destruction that Trump's going to bring on. Yesterday, I had an argument with a fucking retard that basically said that sexism and race is not an issue. Sorry for using the word retard. Um, when I say retard, I mean uneducated, ignorant, bigoted people. That's what I mean by that. People who know me should know that. Actually, they do know that. So, arguing with me that race and sexism is not an issue. It's just a petty issue that whiny little queen bitches like myself are complaining about. People are getting killed because of race and sexism issues. So, no, it's not a petty whiny queen bitch problem. And apparently that my victimhood is not a current... Victimhood? I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't claim victimhood on anything. I'm saying the fucking truth. And then he, this one guy just relies on WikiLeaks for everything. He doesn't investigate other sources, watch watch other videos, cross-reference, analysis. No, no. He relies on one source that is WikiLeaks. It was revealed that Vladimir Putin forged a fake American FBI document e implicating Hillary in favor of Donald Trump and actually hacked and posted it onto WikiLeaks and gave it forwarded it to Trump for one of Trump's rallies against Hillary Clinton. And it has been revealed that WikiLeaks is subject, is susceptible to hacking, to posting a fraudulent, a, um, forged fake documents and information. So no, I, I do look into WikiLeaks, but I don't just rely on that. I cross, I cross reference, I do analysis, comparisons on different, multiple other sources. 
to make sure that I'm making an educated judgment on whoever's going to be the next president of the United States. I have a very educated judgment and resources on Donald Trump and why he's not fit to be president and why people in America are about to face the worst, the worst event in history since 9-11. And it's true. This is going to turn out to be one of the worst things since 9-11 because of what he's going to do in the next four years alone. Now, all these countries in the world, including our own, and including President Barack Obama, giving congratulations to Trump and, wi and wishing him all the best and being all fruity nice to him. Shut the fuck up and sit down. A lot of you people have been slamming Trump since... For the last 16 months, which I don't blame you because you're slamming, you're stating the truth of what he has done, and what, why he shouldn't be allowed to be president. I do get that. But then now you're being all fake and nice because he won the elections? Shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. For one, you cannot fucking be like, oh, Trump, blah, 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 and then fucking be all fruity nice to him in letters of congratulations and wish him luck as the next new president of the United States after you just fucking slammed him to the wall and back for 16 months. Which it wasn't, it's actually not called slam or slander for the past 16 months. It's called facts. 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 Okay? If I was a leader of a country, yeah, I would say congratulations on vote on the on winning the election, but I would also say don't make me come after your fucking ass and don't make me take your your people in. Don't make me fix matters for you. And don't fuck up the country. That's what I would say, man. Amongst other things, obviously. I'm gonna leave some things out. That's why I'd say that I want to be all fruity, fake, nice because you fucking won. Screw that shit. Be, be real. Anyways, I'm going to leave this video up to you guys. Say what you wish. But this is my opinion against Donald Trump and his um, rise to power for the United States government. Um, so, feel free to leave any comments down below here if you wish. Um, don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to this YouTube video channel. And I'll catch you guys all later. And I wish and pray for the people of America for the next four years.